570 Sports, we're, uh, we're sponsored by Gall Hand Auto. Um, if you need a vehicle, right up there on Kaiser Ave, you need a vehicle, you need your oil change, tires change, anything like that, Gall Hand Auto, up there on Kaiser Ave, those are some great guys. And also, DePicho's Pharmacy in uh, uh, Dunmore. I just, I got my uh, vaccines over there. Go get your vaccines over there and uh, get your prescription needs at Call Hand Auto. So we got special, our, our, our special new person and Nikki Gilchrist. Nikki's just, just joining us. She's uh, doing a little intern, trying to build up her, trying to build up herself and, uh, and, the, and the likes of uh, helping us out as well. So Nick, take the show from here. All right, so this is our um, track runner, um, Colin Kravitz. He goes to um, North Pocono High School. So he's a sophomore. And so honestly, you've had a really, really great season this year, like absolutely amazing. So Thank you. I just have a few things. Um, so he won the 100, 200, and 400 meter dash. So how, what like were your, did you have like any specific times or whatever? Uh, for all of them? Yeah, like do you, do you remember any of your times? Yeah, uh, the 100, I got 11.16 on Thursday. Mm -hmm. The 400, I got 49.6 on Monday. And then the 200, I got 22.4 on Monday as well. Oh, yeah, so awesome times, like Thank seriously. You. So uh, the last meet I was at of yours, it was your first time running the 100. Yeah. And you you come out come out the gates smoking. Like, I mean, I, I, I can remember it was 11-1 you run. 11-1 puts you in the house to win districts. What are your thoughts about that? Um, I would like to compete in the 100, but I don't know if I will because right now my coach is trying to put us in certain areas, get points and all that. And I don't know if the 100 is my strongest uh, event on that one. Right. Well, if he takes a look at the newspaper today, yeah. he's got to put you in the 100. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't it – so you're going into the 100, the, uh, probably see second or third based off the of time. And the 200, you're going in rank one. And the 400, you're going in rank one. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you want to get three? Yeah, I would. He, he's thinking about putting me in the 100, but I also have the 4 8 He doesn't know about that one. He's just trying to see what the points would get me. But yeah, I would, I would love to do three events. Right. And then, and then, and then your, your 4x4 team is, is very well rounded off, too. And you guys have a shot at that as well. Yeah. So it's going to be tough. It, you, mm -hmm. you, like, you're such a great athlete that it's going to be tough as to what races to put you in. And yeah. you're only a sophomore? You're just a baby. Oh, man. All right, and so you have districts coming up this week. So how are you, like, are you preparing in any way? Like, are you getting um, into this? I'm trying to keep the mindset that I'm not the top dog or anything like that, which mm -hmm. I'm not yet until districts. I'm, I'm just trying to keep, like, saying yeah. someone's going to catch me. Someone's better than yeah. me, so I have the motivation, the adrenaline, and all that just to go catch someone. Yeah. And that's what usually powers me through the meets that I get. Oh my, well, that's like a good mindset to have. You have to know, like, yeah, there's going to be other people. There's, you have to work just as hard as other people. Yes. So, I don't know, like, do you, is there anybody that you're competing with, like, specifically that you're just like, oh my God, you know, I want to make sure that, like, I'm, like, I'm getting, like, better than them or anything? I mean, there's not really rivalry against other people, but, um... Yeah. There is James Cooper from Wall Paul Beck. Me and him are like really good buds for running. And I just right. want to see him go to States with me if I do go yeah. to States. Oh my God, yeah. Because he's a senior. He got cut short last year. I want to see him go to States. Right, right. So in the 400, you're nearly two seconds ahead of everybody. Mm -hmm. Nearly two. I mean, you're running a 49. On a bad day, you're running a 50. On a, on a good day, you're, you're, you're going low 49. Mm -hmm. Like, and the next best guy is like 51-16. How how are you going to keep yourself motivated and keep yourself, you know, driven? Because, you know, this race right here ultimately leads to your seating at States. Mm. And seating at States is pretty important. You know what I mean? Because you, cause you might get in a slow heat where as though you win it and your time's not fast enough to get in the finals. Yeah. So how do you keep yourself motivated to go out there and, and uh, smoke some people? Um, as I said, uh, I try to keep the mindset that I'm not the top dog, which... There's always another person that's above me, but usually I, uh, I usually run for my brother Matthew Kravitz. He usually he, um, he taught me everything I, that brought me here. He was the one who got me to running. I look up to him. He's my, he's my actually my role model, to be honest with you. Right. So that's what usually keeps me powering through these meets. 
Right, right. All right, well, yo, we want... Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I'm, I'm used to being the host. Sorry, <laughs> oh, go ahead, no, Nick. I'm fine. sorry. Yeah, but this is, like, so exciting for you, and I feel like, like, you still have two more years left, so, I mean, you're definitely going to get better, and are you going to, like, do you want to, like, run track and, like, next year and your senior year? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. So, I feel like you're definitely going to, I don't know, I think you have a really good chance of going to States, and I feel like, I don't know, are you, I don't know. You could be going to states in three events. Yeah. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah, that is, I that's, went for two. Amazing. I didn't go for three. <laughs> no, I went. No, I did go for three in the relay. I forgot about that. And was it for the two hundred or the one hundred? I went for the hundred, the two hundred, and the four by one. I mm. have gone for three events. You still have the record on Scranton, right? Yeah, baby, we're holding that down. <laughs> but you're right there. I mean, you might blow I mean, me. I'm out. not gonna break. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't I'm know scared. about that. I don't think I'm going to break it. How about how about uh, something that Nikki didn't touch on? Let's talk about your grades. How mm -hmm. how important yeah. is it? Are you is it in the classroom for you? Um, I keep them up. I'm getting the, like mid 90s, high 90s, maybe a little bit low 90s, somewhere there. But it's definitely important because I know it's that coach, colleges, coaches, and everything. Once you drop your grades, they don't really they try to they get they get on you right. and all that. Just like Coach Sapkowski, he always gets on me if it starts dropping a little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 let's play knock knock. I'm gonna say knock knock. You're gonna tell me the school that you want at your door. Who who would you want at your door? Uh, Notre Dame. I, I'm a diehard diehard fan. Notre Dame. Always been since wow, well, since I could probably remember. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very good. Well, keep pushing yourself. You never know. Mm -hmm. You get there. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, we want to. Yeah, we want to thank you for coming on our show. Well, I mean, you. this is so awesome. And I wish you the best of luck at districts and hopefully for states. And I don't know, I feel like you're going to be, you're a really good runner now. I mean, you have so much room to grow and improve. And you're, I don't know, you're going to be really great in the future. So. All right, we're looking forward okay. to seeing you in the future, brother. Yeah. Thank you, you. You take it easy. <laughs> you too. All right. All right, so are you, um, you go to Scranton Prep, so yeah. what grade are you in? I'm 10th grade. Okay, 10th grade, and you have, you're only in 10th grade, which is like, <laughs> it's like weird to think because you have accomplished so much already. Yeah. And you know, so you do football and you do track. Yeah. So you've done like amazing this, <laughs> this year, I mean. Thank you. Honestly, and like with last year, I mean, did you like want to do track last year, but like with COVID? I wanted to do track, but we got like two weeks in, oh, and then we got shut down. So, so this is technically my first year. Yeah. So and uh, you you have a really good first year. So I mean that's <laughs> definitely awesome. Thank you. Um, so you have states coming up yeah. and um, districts. Okay. So I know that's like really exciting. Um, and you had your Jordan relays. Yeah. So obviously with like last year when you didn't have it, were you like a little more nervous this year because it's I mean I know you're a sophomore, but it's still your first year for that. Yeah. So. I was nervous because a lot of those kids got like time to like. This is my first year, so they're like experienced. I'm not experienced. I'm only. This is my first year doing it, so. Yeah. I kind of just had my senior take me under the wing and have me push on. Yeah, that's nice, and I think that um, yeah, with the Jordan relays, that's another like big race. Yeah. Like I mean, not as big as like districts or states, yeah. but it's it's getting you there and it's preparing yeah. you for those. So what are some ways that you prepared for them? Like, um, One way I prepared is just like get my mind mentally straight, like thinking I'm not the fastest, I'm not the fastest. Like I'm going to catch up to them. They're going to yeah. be right beside me. So I'm not going to like underestimate anyone because those guys are really fast. Uh -huh. So I'm just preparing myself mentally. Yeah. So do you have a, like a personal record for any of them? Or? Uh, for the 200, I got 22.2 uh, .2, and then like it got like converted to 22.4 uh -huh. and that was my school record oh wow yeah. that's really really <laughs> awesome so yeah. um you're racing against christian buckley yes. in district so yeah. i'm sure that's a little <laughs> nerve-wracking but i mean you guys are both amazing athletes yeah. and i know uh, i think christian is a senior yes so i mean you're racing somebody two years older than you yeah. i mean i'm sure that's scary but i feel like you are going to get more experience like throughout high yeah. school so how are you feeling for districts I mean, there's a lot of kids racing against me, yeah. and Christian, he's really fast, and those other kids are fast, too. I mean, it just comes down to who gets the better start yeah. and who gets their mind straight. So, that's just, I can't predict the future, but we'll see. Yeah. That's, that's going to be a huge showdown. You got <laughs> yeah. you got the fastest kids in the league yeah. all literally almost in, in one race. Yeah, it's going to be what, exciting. What does it mean to you to go out there and get that W? I mean... It just, it's an honor to race against those kids. And if I did win, hey, if I lose, those kids are fast. So 
I definitely like I'm looking forward to that. So Right. Yeah. So even if even if you lose, there's a good chance that you, you may still advance for states because I'm I'm gonna guess that time's gonna be probably about ten seven, ten eight, whoever wins that race, because yeah. I'm thinking everybody's bringing their A game. Yeah. You know, what are you doing to to prepare yourself to get ready to go into that race? Um, I'm just like yeah, mentally. Like I know they're not gonna be like, no, I'm not gonna be like as fast as previous meets, but you know, I'm just gonna try my best and do whatever I can. And I'm also like practicing really hard, so we'll see. Yeah. Uh, all right, hey. Yeah. That's all you can do is you yeah. can see. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we we didn't get to have you we didn't get to have you on at all for football. No. So I want to talk a little bit about football. Oh yeah, football. So yeah. what are you're a running back? Yes. Running back. So you had a, a really good season. I mean, it wasn't like super normal, but I mean. Yeah. What are are you excited for football se yeah, season I'm this year? Definitely excited. Oh yeah. yeah. That's it's gonna be so fun. Yeah. So did you play when you were a freshman? Yeah, I played varsity as a freshman. Oh wow. So you're you're already up there. Like the right. first year, you're already just like <laughs> right. right up there. So okay. you guys lose a lot. Well, you yeah. lose a lot. You lose you lose Grady. Yeah. Outstanding quarterback. You lose some of those members on the defensive side. Yeah. How will how do you think prep will fare? I think we'll have a plan to build it up. Like Patty, we have a couple quarterbacks who can work their way up, get to his level. Defensive side, we have a couple kids who are working, getting stronger, lifting in the weight room, just doing everything they can to get their spot. Right. And how about that offensive line? Because you're going to need somebody. You're going to need some blocking yeah. to to pile up those numbers on top of what you already have. Yeah. How do you think the offensive line affair? Great. We're looking great. The offensive line. Yeah, we're looking good. We have uh, those the same, basically the same line we did have last year. Just we have like one sophomore on there, so we're looking pretty big up there. So. Right. What what are what are the goals set out for the football team? The goals. First, we got to take one game at a time. Take it slow. Win every game we can. Yeah, get the district title. That's that's what I'm aiming for. So. Right. Right. Yeah. That's exciting. So um, I just have a question. Are you like um, do you think that track like helps you like benefit for football? Is that why you wanted to do track or? Yeah, that was like you... that was my plan. Yeah. But now that I think about it, I'm really good at track. So I'm going to, like, if I could do it in college, I could do it in college. So that would be, like, a backup plan. Yeah. Yeah. Because you are really good at track. And, like, you're really good at football. So, I mean, I feel like they, like, help each other. Like, yeah. when you run for track, you're, like, preparing yourself for the upcoming football season. Yeah. So I think that helps a lot. Yeah. And I think that's great because it just helps your position. Yes. So. All right. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing I can say bad about you, brother. You got, yeah. you, you're doing good. Thank you're doing you. good for yourself. Thank you. Yeah. A lot yeah. of accomplishments, and I feel like you have so much more to come. You have a really good, really bright future ahead of you, Thank and you. that's very exciting. Yes. So. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, Nick, dismiss him, Nick. All right. I wish you the best of luck at districts. Thank I mean, you. I mean, all these runners, like you guys, are seriously like doing so good. I mean, for a year, for a whole year off, and then you're right back on it. So. Yeah. I think you're doing a really great job, and I wish you best of luck with football and all your sports, but you just have, like, good things coming for you. So. Right. Thank you. Good Thank luck, you. of course. Right. Keep Thank grinding. You. Keep grinding. Yeah. Keep grinding. All right. All right, so we are here with Abby Springer from Dunmore, and she's a senior. So this year has been a really, really good year for her, and you're heading into districts and hopefully states. So you um, beat Paige Alanovich in the 100-meter dash, so your time was 13.2 seconds. Really, really awesome. And do you have a personal record? This year it was a 13-1. 13-1, so a really good time. Um, so did you do the Jordan relays? I did. You did? So how did those go for you? Were you um, nervous? I was really nervous, but I was looking forward to them because I've been doing them since I was a freshman. Mm -hmm. um, our 4 by one team took first place in AA, and our sprint medley team did too. Oh, that's awesome. That right. is so awesome. So, do you have any ways like you prepare for like bigger races like the Jordan relays, and then when you have districts this week? I do hard workouts like the week before, but this weekend is kind of just like lay low, don't do much, don't eat bad. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to overwork yourself, and yeah. you want to be like you want to prepare yourself, but to a point where you're like just ready for it. You don't want to, yeah, yeah. because overworking yourself and you're gonna be like nervous for it, and then you I show up and you're exhausted. Yeah, exactly. You don't want right. to do that. Right. What? Do, what? Do, um. So to talk about Jordan Relays a little bit. So obviously Rachel Collins got the. We, we kind of want to see you and Rachel Collins go up against each other. Yeah. Pretty bad. 
But you obviously, Rachel, got the baton before you. Yeah. Were you hoping to get that like somewhere near the same time? I was. I like we had get heat sheets before, and I saw that there was a lot of schools that had better times than us. But we topped out all those schools, and then Homesdale, they're not even in our division or our district or whatever. So. Right. But I passed out a girl from skirt, and I was. I got the baton really far behind, but we did pretty good for where I got the baton. Right, right. Yeah, so when you do um, the baton, like, is that, like, do you guys, like, train for that in any way, too? Yeah, we probably do that at least 30 minutes of practice. Oh. Just because I've been doing it since I was a freshman, but mm -hmm. two of the girls on my team are freshmen, so they needed a lot of practice with it, but we finally got it down. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's awesome. And I'm sure, like, when you're at practices and stuff, you're, like, just, you keep continuously thinking about what you're, like going for with that, so yeah. I don't yeah. know. I'm sure that's right. So, how yeah. nervous are you about districts? I'm nervous. Um, I ran against like most of the girls there, but then there's all the looks for schools that you just you never hear of them. They're not in the paper. You don't see them, so you just don't know. Right. I want to get this correct. A lot of those girls that are seated higher than you, you actually beat. Am I correct? Yeah. Like Paige, nothing against her. Like I beat her, and she was seated higher than me, and I was just like. Like, I don't know how that happened, but okay. Right. So, so I mean, they, those are just based off of it's times just, yeah. that they, you know, that they ran. But, I mean, I still can't believe you're not on there in the 100, no. but you're going to show them that you belong yeah. on there. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, considering you're a senior, you're graduating, like, next month. So, have you, like, where are you going to college? I'm going yeah. to King's College for track, and I'm going to the nursing program. Uh -huh. Um, they were, they reached out to me like a while ago and I've just been in contact with them, so. Well, that's very exciting. So, yeah, that's good you're continuing like your track career into college yeah. because, I mean, you've been doing it since your freshman year, you said. Yeah. So that's really exciting and I think like when you work so hard, like especially all through high school, when you have a sport that you love like so much like track. Yeah. I think it's good that you're still continuing yeah. it, so. All right. Uh. right. What, what do you, um, what, so. Looking, so I was looking at the 200, mm -hmm. and it has you placed six. Six, yep. Six. So, I mean, guaranteed, I mean, granted, some of the girls, like, you get top three, top two, top three. Yeah. You're, you're pretty much going to States. Yeah. Is the goal of yours to get to States? I would love to go to States. Um, I think I would have went last year just if we had a season. But I'm really hoping to place one, two, or three just so I could get down there. Right. Do you kind of feel like everybody's forgot about Springer? Yeah. Because, I don't know, it's just, last year was just my big year, and then it just went away. <laughs> right, yeah. It kind of goes away. That's, yeah. That's, uh, to, to be honest with you, so people kind of forget about the Lady Bucks because they got kicked out the playoffs. Yeah. Oh, due to COVID or whatever. Yeah. And people kind of forget about Dunmore Sports, period. Yeah. The football team didn't really have a great year last year, but, yeah. you know, they, they whatever. People kind of forget about Dunmore Sports. Yeah, they do. What do you, what, what do you think? next year looks like for Dunmore? I mean, I know obviously you're graduating, yeah. but what do you think Dunmore sports look like next year? Um, I think they'll look good. We have a lot of good juniors this year, like on basketball and football, so I think they'll do really good next year. I don't know who's coming up for middle school, but right. I think we'll be good. Right. Well, I want to wish you the best. Thank you. And I'll give yes. you to Nikki. Yeah, me too. I mean, I wish you the best of luck, and especially with districts. I know you're going to be nervous, but, you know, I'm sure you've prepared yourself all season for this and I think it's really exciting it's like a time for you so and then hopefully for states so I wish you the best of luck with that thank and you. thank and, you so much oh uh, one more thing and if I'm predicting a winner <laughs> yeah. for the hundred um Monday right yeah. Monday you're in yeah if I'm predicting a winner I'm, I'm going with you thanks yeah. so good luck <laughs> thank yep, you that's so nice. all right so you're from um, Paul Pack High School right and mm -hmm. what grade I'm a junior. You're a junior. Okay, so you're one of the like only hurdle hurdlers that we have. Yeah, she's the best so, hurdler. The best hurdler. So I mean, I'm best. sorry. <laughs> um, so your best times in the five seven zero. So I think that's like really great. Mm -hmm. Um, so it says you're uh, leading the division two in the long and the triple jump. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit more about that. Like how? Well, I'm really excited to like be able to go and have real competition because yeah. like I haven't I mean in jumps Brooke Acovino was pretty good competition for me but so far other than that there hasn't been too much and for the hurdles I'm a little nervous because I'm not like I know in the like different the other conference there's a mm -hmm. lot of like really good hurdlers so I'm a little nervous about that because 
I don't know how I'm going to react to having competition, especially in the 100s. I think it'll help me push, like, to run faster in the 300s, but the 100s are so rhythmic. I hope I don't, I just don't want to get thrown off. Yeah. But I'm excited to actually have, like, people there that'll really push me. Yeah, and I think, like, throughout the, like, regular season, you're just, like, I mean, you go against some bad teams and some are, like, really good, but for districts, it's all, like, yeah, the, best the best of the best. best. Yeah, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. States is the real best of the best. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. States, I'm sure. Oh, my God. Everyone's That's the real it. best of the best. That's where you really make a name for yourself. Yeah. For but, sure. um, so, like, talk about the hurdles. Like, one hurdle, hitting one hurdle, how, how bad could that be for somebody? See, I mean, it depends because if, if you just, like, skim it, usually that wouldn't even throw me off too bad. If, like, you clip it with your foot, then that's probably worse. But, like, usually I'm able to keep going if I hit one, as long as it's not too low to the hurdle. But it doesn't usually affect too much unless unless you really hit it, because then it throws off your rhythm, and then, then I would, like, fall out of a three-step, and then that would make things a lot harder to, like, try and get back. Right, right. So uh, I want to ask you a question, because I, I, I want to ask you this question. Last time I saw you, but I'm asking you now. The, so you run the 100 hurdles. Why not the 100-yard dash, too? Because I think you're pretty fast. Honestly, I never really thought I was that fast. I remember, I guess I haven't run a 100-meter dash in, well, since like eighth grade in like a practice or something. And my coach swears he thinks I can run sub-13, but I never actually tried, and I do kind of want to try. And your coach thinks it, I yeah. know it. Oh, yeah, wow. I, I do want to try at one point just to see where I'm at. See, honestly, what like my ceiling is for the hurdles because I don't really know how fast my 100-meter dash is. So right. it could be fast. I don't know really what it is, but... I want to run it at some point just to see. Right. So from being up there in Paul Pack and watching you run, one thing that I could say that is, that is great is you get out the blocks faster than a 100-yard dash runner. Yeah, that's honestly one thing I've really relied on is my acceleration. And I think that's why I always thought I wasn't going to be as good in the 100 dash because I tend to lose it a little quicker. But I know my acceleration is really fast, and I think that's also carried into the jumps because it's such a short runway that being able to take off so fast has really helped me to like get up to speed in the short amount of time that I need for that, so. Right. Yeah, I mean, I think that's so exciting. Um, also, I saw you play soccer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's like super exciting. Do you think that like, I mean, I know they're like two completely different sports, but how do you like, do you connect them in any way? Or does one benefit the other at all? I mean, other than like endurance, I don't get yeah. too much uh, else that would help me in track yeah like it's a different environment completely like, it's a smaller team yeah. so it's more of a team thing and like I'm not very um, skilled I guess with the ball <laughs> I mostly I'm on I'm a wing so I uh -huh. they use me for running a lot which I can like keep my speed and all that for a while so that's kind of why I play soccer just because to play it I've played it my whole life but like I think generally I'm not quite the same in soccer as I am in track, mm -hmm. and I just use it kind of to stay in shape and for fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. I mean, I think, so, like, track is your main sport, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, do you think you're going to continue at all with soccer, or are you going to continue through high school? Yeah, I'm going to do it next year, but after that, I yeah. think I'm yeah. going to go for track in college. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, that's do you, do you Are you committed anywhere? Do you plan on, no. I mean, is there a place that you really want to go? I don't really have a dead set I want to go here or there I've talked to a few colleges um I've talked to Dartmouth a lot I want to maybe see because that would be really cool or a really good experience definitely but like other than that I haven't talked in depth with very many you know, it, usually it starts off by small talk mm -hmm. and then it gets yeah. in the in the into the real talks like hey, yeah. are you interested <laughs> in going here or not? Yeah. well yeah. here's an offer you know? Yeah. I mean, but you're not done yet. I mean, you're still young. Like, you mm -hmm. still have opportunities to go other places. I mean, a lot of the track runners this year just committed this year, and they're mm -hmm. seniors, so yeah. mean, you still got a lot of time. That's always been a little comforting to me is I feel like I'm so behind, but I know compared to other people, I'm honestly mm -hmm. around the same area. It's just, it's really, it's stressful because I'm terrible at making decisions, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... So I feel like it's going to be really hard when the time comes, but it's nice to know at least I'm not too far behind other people. Mm -hmm. Right. How about how about as a team? How well do you think uh, Paul Peck can do up there? Um, at as districts? Two, yeah, I think, at districts. 
we had we have one of our runners. You know Sarah Shook. Right. She's in quarantine right now, so I don't think she's gonna be able to go. Oof. And Oof. we're coming off of having people in quarantine, me having COVID, so um, I hope we can get back to where we were. But I think we do have like a chance to do really well. I know we have a lot of people spread out pretty well throughout the events. We have right. good throwers, like good jumpers, runners. So I think we have a chance to do well. Honestly, right. we might. I don't know. We might win. We. I don't know. I just feel like we have a lot of good potential to like do well. You think really you could well. knock off Abington? I think it would be tough. I wanted to. I mean, they won eighty-four straight meets. I wish we could face them in regular season because we only do a scrimmage against them. Right. And I think we won the scrimmage, but it's just like I wish we got to have that them in our competition during regular meets just to be able to push us too. But I think there could be a chance, depends how fired up everybody is that day. Right. I think Who's your who's your uh who's your biggest who's your biggest uh competitor going into the districts? For the jumps would probably be Brooke. And there's another girl, I forget from what school, but it was from the Wyoming Conference who's really close to me in the triple jump. And then I know there's two girls, two or three in the hundred or 300 hurdles from the Wyoming that are like above me. And then there's one in the 100 meter hurdles. So I definitely have more competition now. Like freshman year, I think I went in seated first in most of my things. But um, this year I definitely have to like try and work back um, to where I was and hopefully I can come out on top. Right. How do you feel how do you feel like your your conditioning is right now? Do you feel like you're up to par? I think well I did just come off of COVID so like a week ago and I've had a week to try and kind of get back to where I am and it definitely took something out of me but I'm hoping that like I trained really hard yesterday I trained a little today I'm just hoping that Little by little, I'll have had enough time to be able to get back to where I was. I think I'm not too far off of what I was. I think I'm pretty close. So hopefully by Tuesday, just the competition around me, everything will just kind of push me enough. All right. What does it mean to you to get that district championship? Uh, I really want it <laughs> because, like, freshman year I had in all my events. And so, like, to be able to do that again would just be so cool. Like, I, I want that really bad. And, I mean, even if I don't win – I'd like to hopefully break a record or two for the school mm -hmm. and even just make it to states in general. But I think I really do want to win. It would be really cool. Yeah, that's so exciting. And I think you're, I mean, you're so good at the hurdles. So I think that is a huge benefit to not just you, but your whole team. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I think that's very exciting. And I think, like you said, like there's a lot of like strengths within your team in different categories for, mm -hmm. for it. So, I mean, I think that's so like good because not other teams like they might just be strong in one area where mm -hmm. you guys have lots of different like varieties so yeah that's really awesome and you obviously like I feel like you carry a lot of the team with that with your hurdles so that's super awesome and right. it's gonna help a lot yeah we have a nice spread of hurdlers mm -hmm. um and we're really good in the field too like yeah. usually we'll be down on the track and then the field numbers will come back and it'll just mm -hmm. tip the scales like between the throwing and jumps I think we have a pretty deep like team that I think we can really score points where we need it. Right. Yeah, I think you guys have like a really, really good shot at winning mm -hmm. districts. So, right. I mean, I don't know. I would say just like keep working hard, you know, like practice. Don't overwork yourself, of course. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I think you, you guys literally just like prepare yourself all season for this. So, yeah. I mean, it's just really good. Right. Well. Yeah, very exciting. Thank you very much. <laughs> of course. It was nice to meet you guys. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you for coming on. Thank Bye. you. This is Avery Moretic, so she goes to Riverside and she's jun a junior, so you do cheer and track, so I mean, this is a lot because it's like around the same season now, I mean, I know like we're done with cheer, but 
like how do you like balance the two like do you like i know you like there's not a ton with cheer but i mean it's well, still, with like, you a show this year because of covid oh yes that I was hard i was going from track to cheer yeah there's three other people that do it Paige Alanovich, maddie perfilio mm -hmm. it was hard we go from cheer to practice i would have to miss a lot of cheer practices so i have to make it up on the side but yeah. it's just time management yeah. I also had a job on top of it. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. that was hard. So, I mean, yeah, that was not yeah. easy also. <laughs> but I made it work, and now I'm just back to track and job. So right. it worked out. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, so you're a hurdler. So you do, um, yeah, I mean, you've been doing really good in hurdlers this year. So are you, how are you feeling for districts? I mean, I'm nervous. Yeah. I got the roster this morning, and I'm seeing that I'm placed second and right. fourth in the 100, oh. which I'm excited uh -huh. about. But I'm excited to have competition right now. I haven't had really that much competition, and yeah. I'm excited to see it. I do better with competition, so I'm excited. Right, yeah, you need somebody to yes, push you. Yes, I'm excited then for you, it. Then you'll, get the, then you'll get the best yes. of you, yeah. right? Yeah, I think um, competition is what motivates you yes. a lot. So, I mean, that's so, it makes super me work exciting. harder. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think so. And you know you're not just going against just anybody. It's just, like, the really good people. So, But, I mean, you're, you've been doing so good. I mean, you have a lot of accomplishments this year. So... What are, you, what, are you, what are you hoping for going into districts? Um, just to place better than I did freshman year. I placed mm -hmm. sixth in the 100 and seventh in the 300. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping I do a lot better. Maybe second in the 300, maybe like fourth, fifth in the 100. So then I could come back next year even stronger. Right, right. So what, what is something that you do to prepare yourself for a meet like this? Uh, <laughs> just practice. I, don't know. <laughs> uh, I guess I guess so. I mean, I guess that's all you can really do, right? Yeah, just yeah, practice yeah. and you just hope for the best. <laughs> right. Do you do you have any like anything that you have to do before each meet? Um, not really, honestly. Yeah. You're not like you're not like superstitious or anything. Well, like you have to. I don't wash my track socks. uniform, which is kind of weird, <laughs> but I can't wash it. Like, so that's uh -huh. one thing I don't. Okay. You'll see, like, my knees are all, like, red <laughs> from my white tights, but that's one thing I don't do. Right. I don't wash. Right. <laughs> how, how, how bad can it, can it be to hit, hit one hurdle? How, oh, how hard can that I affect I normally your don't hit hurdles, but, like, in races, I really never have. But mm -hmm. I just was at North Pocono this morning practicing, and I whacked a hurdle. Oh, it hurt. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, hurt. That, yeah. Was, that was bad. <laughs> how, much can that, how much can that affect your time? Um, a lot. Like, I attempt not to, but I know some kids who do, and it, like, completely ruins their time. Right. Sometimes it's hard to get your balance yeah. again. Right, yeah, it could completely throw you off yeah. a race, so definitely can't be done. And especially that, with right? their steps, with so the 100 hurdles, mm -hmm. it'll mess up your whole steps, which right. is all 200, um, 100 hurdles is about. Right, so who would you say is who would you say is your tough, cause, toughest competition? Um, there's a girl from Lake, um, what is it, Lake Lehman or something? Lake Lehman? Okay. Yeah, I think her name's like Izzy or something. Okay. I won against her freshman year. I think I placed like sixth, six and I think she got like eighth or something. Mm -hmm. But she came back stronger. She's a senior. She's in it to win it this year, yeah. and I'm scared for her. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I didn't go against her because we don't go against that right. like yeah. for a normal season. So I don't know even know what she like looks like. But her times are really good, so right. I'm nervous. Do you kind of wish that you guys would kind of yes. mix in with the Wyoming Valley yes. Conference a little bit? Because like when you come to districts, I was just talking to Paige. We're like. Where do they come from? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. cause we don't see their times or anything. Cause right, it's yeah. just our like over here. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. wish we did. It'd be like better. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. I could push you. you yeah, know, push definitely. You for better times. There's four girls from that side that have better times than me. Right. So I wish we did go against them. Right. Well, something else to keep in mind is some of those are, some of those are just doing this. Yeah. You know, and a lot of the, a lot of the Wyoming Valley Conference is not automated. Yeah. Because we've been up there quite a few meets. Oh, and, really? Yeah, so oh. a lot of those are not automated. Oh, so. that's nice yeah. to know. Whereas those Scranton's automated. Yeah. yeah. And uh, North Pocono's automated and Lakeland's automated. Like, there's a ton of autom. I can't name an, an, a non-automated school besides Dunmore. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only school I could name that's not, yeah. that, yeah. that does it by hand. Oh, wow. And that's why uh, Abby Springer's time is pretty low, too. She's got like a 13 Yeah, she's one. fast. Yeah, and then, she's insane. So some of the girls that... The, the, I'm just telling you this so you don't have to worry about time. <laughs> but some of the girls that have beat her times... Some of the girls that Abby has beat are actually seated higher than her. Oh, wow. So that just tells you that you can throw those times oh. out the window. And I'm sure it's, it's probably almost the same thing for Paige as well. Yeah. You know? So, because they're not really giving it to you. If, you're, if it's not automated, you're not really, like, getting credit for it, you know? That's nice to know. 
So. <laughs> something to go, something so, to think yeah, about. Yeah, definitely. So when you have like your off season with track, cause like it's not all around, do you, um, like how do you like practice? Like, especially with hurdles, like do you practice them? Um, I actually have a hip injury last, from last track season. Mm -hmm. So I took like COVID off, which was definitely not the smartest thing to do, yeah. but I needed it to recover on my hip injury. Mm -hmm. But then once, like I think October, I started hitting the gyms, gym again, mm -hmm. started running on the treadmill. But I wish I was able to hurdle, but I couldn't find anywhere to hurdle because of COVID. Yeah. But this season, this off season is going to be an off season for me, and I'm excited for it. Yeah. Right. I mean, I think it's important to practice even when you're off. Yes. I mean, the hyper injury is like not like does not help at all. Mm -hmm. right. So just not in a good way. But I think it's like so exciting for districts. So I'm like so excited for, for <laughs> districts. I mean, are you doing anything to prepare? For um. Districts? Just trying to get a good night's sleep. Yeah. Eat a lot of food. Right. Just excited to get out of school early. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Definitely get out of school early. Deuces. Yeah, I'm excited for that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got a new track coach, right? Harry's pretty new, right? He's junior high. Okay. So okay. I don't see him. I've had the same coach, Pika, since seventh mm -hmm. grade. He's followed us. Best coach. Okay. We love him at Riverside. And then we have Coach Johns. He's a new. He's one of my hurdling coaches, actually. Mm -hmm. And then we have Coach Jared. All great group of guys. We love them. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, Sounds so good. Exciting. Yeah. Sounds it's always good. nice to have good coaches. So, <laughs> it, is there any other sports that you, besides basketball and cheerleading, is there any other sports that you play? No, I just do cheer and track. Okay. But, yeah. You, did you just notice I just included cheer as to be a sport? Yeah. I Most mean, people don't do that. Oh, yeah, is. thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a lot, though. Like, Riverside does the both seasons. Right. So we're at cheer, like, from May to March, yeah, like it's, it's a full it's season, a, like three practices a week, games. Mm -hmm. It's fun though. I love the group of girls. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, uh, uh, cheerleading's hard. It's yeah. not. I mean, I, I only know this because my daughter cheered. Yeah. So and I'm like, I, at first I'm like, well, like what do you, you just got to jump up in the air and do like <laughs> little things like. What you, you've not. Oh yeah, it's not. Yeah, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> and then my daughter is like, yeah, dad, stay, come to practices. So, <laughs> so I went to practices with there, and I'm like. Wow, this is a lot. <laughs> this is annoying. Like, yeah. I would be done. Yeah. Like, imagine, like, she's cheering for Dunmore, the, like, the little team, like, little girls. Like, <laughs> yeah. And they have to go to practice every day to get ready for mm -hmm. cheer competition. Yeah. It's like, yeah. what is this? <laughs> it's fun, though. I mean, you don't just show up and dance and hop around. That's what people think. Like, right. no, there's yeah, so much that is. goes into it. Yeah. Like, our pep rally in August is prepared for June, July, mm -hmm. the whole month of August. It's rough. Right. So I started the, I started the campaign where I think that I mean, I know we're talking about track, but let me just talk about cheerleading for a little bit. Okay. I started a campaign where I thought that, you know, if a basketball team wins a championship, mm -hmm. they get medals. Why can't, why don't the cheerleaders well, yeah, get medals Yeah, that's too? true. You I know? think we should do like a cheer competition. I remember we were going to do that one year. That'd be smart. Our 570 Sports tried to set it up. Yeah. I tried to, Riverside was willing to host it. Yeah. And I tried yeah. to have all these teams uh, have a cheer competition, but at the end of the day, three cancels ended up canceling one out and I had five teams. <gasps> So I had to. That'd I had be a to good idea, it. especially if like COVID like settles mm -hmm. down. I yeah. think it could be cool for us. I had to scrap it, and then we were gonna plan on doing it this year, but of course COVID. COVID, so. oh. But make no mistake, I will make it happen. Yeah, do it. I will it's make fun. It happen. I love like yeah. interacting with other cheer squads because we don't really get that much. Right. Yeah. So that'd be nice. Yeah, it would be cool. You know, it would be even nice. It would be cool to to compete against each other. Then it would be cool to have like the captains like organ or orchestra uh, a cheer. Uh, just to cheer with all the different teams together. Oh, that'd be really cool, be yeah. Cool. Yes. Back to track, though. <laughs> yeah, wait, back to track. So <laughs> you're a junior, so you're getting like prepared for college a little bit. Are you going to, like, do you want to run track in college? Um, It's a possibility. Mm -hmm. I would love to if I received the opportunity. Yeah. But I um would always also go for like academics yeah. at the end of the day, but I'm going to go wherever I get the most money, so. Right. What are you like in the classroom? Um. Like a 99 average. I value like school. A, like a 99? <laughs> yeah, I can't say 100. <laughs> I do some bad like on some Like a 99? Bad. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, I value school. Yeah. Great. Great. Yeah. I think that's what, what about, what about, uh, I know I know you said you don't have a college that you're going to go to yet, but if I was a college and I was to knock at your door, who would you want me to be? Um, I mean, Florida's looking nice. <laughs> it's really warm down there. I heard the other girl. It's really yeah, it's warm. It's looking great down there. Yeah. But... You're yeah. willing to take what it, you're willing to take any it. school. We could same degree anywhere we go. So right. yeah. you're willing to take it. I am. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. That's real, and I think um, like uh, your academics, and also like because you're so good at track. So I mean, you have such a good chance for like scholarships and things like that. So not just with your grades, but also for I hope, track yes. too. So that's like a really beneficial. Right. Yeah. Well, you know what time it is. I think. So. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> on the show. Guys. I wish you best like a district. Thank and you. So this is Paige Alinovich. Um, she goes to Riverside and a junior. So you do three different sports. So yes. you do, you're on cheer, basketball, and track. So and I, I mean, do tennis. I do oh, tennis. and tennis. Yeah. Right. Yes, tennis. So is it like, do you find it hard to balance all of them? I mean, yeah, but they're kind of like spaced out pretty good. So yeah. I just go all year round. Yeah. So I think. Um, so you've been doing really good with um, track. You've been leading the division. So I mean, obviously that's so great for our districts. Are you excited for districts? Yes. Yeah, I am. I'm excited. How, so, how um, well do you think you can do at districts? I'm. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I can get top five if I really. I have to get out of the box good. Right. I have to work on that. Right. I, I mean, one slip in the blocks could cost you. Mm -hmm. Could cost you last place yeah. in this one because mm -hmm. I mean. There's a lot of good girls in this race. Yeah. You know, I mean, let's face it. There's a lot of good girls yeah. in the 100. Yeah. There's a lot of good girls in the 200. And uh, you stand right up there with the right up there with right up there with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I'm just very interested to see this go down because this yeah. is like this is the best track year in probably like yeah. 10 years because everybody's so close. You know, it, does it make you nervous that everybody's so close? Yeah, yeah, but it'll be exciting once we get running. Yeah. All right. Right. Yeah. I know uh, you were really close to um, Abby Springer. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure that's like a little, like, because you guys are both going to district. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm sure that's a little nerve wracking. But yeah. I think that you guys both are like practicing mm -hmm. like super hard. So, is that like your main competition? Or are you like nervous with Pretty that? Pretty much, yeah. Because I'm yeah. really close to her. And yeah. yeah. We, just, we just had her in the building. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, she wasn't, you know, she's not even ranked. You, did you know that? In the 100, she's yeah. not even ranked. No, I didn't even see that. <laughs> does that what, so me telling you this, does, does that surprise you? Yeah. It's, it's, it's very surprising. I mean, they got it down as like a 13-1. Uh, but it's all because of, you know, the the yeah. automated times that Dunmore has. Yeah. Or like and maybe she hasn't run a fast time mm -hmm. going somewhere else because she's winning by a lot. Like, yeah. she hasn't lost yeah. at all. So, mm -hmm. But like, she, like, I, like I told her, like some of the girls that are listed, mm -hmm. she's competed with and she's won. Yeah. So I wouldn't be worried about times at all. Uh, do you worry about times? I mean, when I saw I was ranked like eighth in the hundred, I, was, I didn't expect to be that low. But I right, mean, I don't. I, I can really, guarantee yeah. you're not going to finish eighth. I can yeah. guarantee you that. Yeah. But I mean, another thing is like you know that Wyoming Valley Conference. Like we don't get to see them. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know much about what their yeah. times are like. So well, it's like surprising. Like when you see like. I'm beating all these girls in the yeah. area. You know, I may have lost one race. How am I ranked this yeah. low? You know, it just doesn't make any sense, yeah. but it happens. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, um, what do you, do you, I know you said like your sports are spaced out and stuff. So like, are you, you have um, tennis is in the summer, right? Yeah. So you have tennis and cheer around yeah. like the same season. So is that difficult at all? Yeah, sometimes I gotta, I gotta choose between which one to go to. And yeah. I'm just, cheer is hard to miss because you have to learn stuff. Yeah when you're on the side and but I make it work somehow yeah right. is chair a yeah. sport yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> good answer I think so um so yeah you're do you do really good at tennis I mean like last year you guys were able to have a season so yeah I mean I think that was really good and I mean definitely good you guys didn't have to like skip a whole season mm -hmm. like in sports like track I mean that was difficult so yeah. did you practice at all like last year like in preparing for it? Yeah. Track? Yes. Yeah. I tried to like run around my neighborhood while like COVID and everything. Yeah. And then I, well, before everything shut down, I went to Athletic Public for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I just ran by myself. Right. Yeah. So coming into Monday, yeah, you guys went Monday, not yeah. Tuesday, Monday. So coming into Monday, do you feel like you're a little bit of an underdog? Uh, yeah. A little bit, yeah. You're always an underdog. Yeah. Always, yeah. always. We don't talk about Paige enough. Yeah. We don't get Paige enough credit. Yeah, and you work super hard. I mean, you deserve the recognition. So I think you also are going to do, you and Avery both, I feel like, are going to do really good for Riverside yeah. with districts. So I'm very excited for that. Yeah. So I don't know. I think it's going to be a good matchup. I think you guys have a lot of, like, competition. Obviously, there's so many good people yeah. you're going against. 
But I mean, I think you're gonna make it work, and I hope that you guys win. I feel like you guys can almost win as a team. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with 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 the hurdles, with the mm -hmm. sprints, and then uh, with the long distance with Lacey. Yeah. You know, you, you definitely get a lot of points with that. You yeah. know, so that'd be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like you know, I feel like uh, I, I may I may say her name wrong, but Brill Reed. Yeah. I feel like she should be on varsity. Oh, Braylon. Yeah, Braylin, she could yeah. totally help you yeah, guys. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And uh, Piley Williams. Yeah. They're both really, really yeah. good. I can't wait for them to go on varsity. Yeah. A couple be times great. we couldn't run our 4 by one because we didn't have a fourth girl, and I said we should just bring Braylon up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because she's, she, she's super yeah. fast. I know. Mm -hmm. She smoked everybody. Yeah. She's like, we run like the same time since she's yeah. in eighth grade. Yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy. crazy. Okay. That's absurd. That would be a nice addition yeah. to that 4 yeah. by one team, right? Yep. That would be a nice addition. Yeah. Yeah, so um, are you looking, so I know that you do play more than one sport, so are you looking at um, like colleges for any specific sports do you want to play? I would like, I would like to run track in college. Yeah. If, yeah, if I get the chance to, so, I would like to. Yeah, I think, right. I think track is a good sport yeah. in college because it's not like, you know, it's not something you have to, I mean, you practice, mm -hmm. but I mean, you could do it like a little bit on your own time and I yeah. think it's good. So do you, are you playing tennis to keep yourself occupied or do you enjoy playing tennis? I enjoy it. Well, I just started it because the coach texted me and asked if I want to do it, and I just did it, and it's fun. I right. like it. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's so in practice. You get to go up against the best girl yeah. in the state. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, you, you, you probably yeah. get better by playing her, right? Yeah. How, how, just how good is Carissa? She's, I've never seen anybody be that good at a sport like that. She's insane. Right. And then there's another girl, right? I'm not mistaken. Madeline. Madeline. Yeah. yeah she's yeah. really good, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. That, that that's some stiff comp mm -hmm. that's some stiff players to play with. Yeah. So you can't just like go play tennis with them. You gotta yeah, like no. be super no. competitive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. But I'm sure I'm sure they help and I'm sure they yeah, motivate they you. Do. Like when you have like a really good teammate, you're like I want to be yeah. like I want to work as hard as them and I want to. And I think you do. Like I feel like different sports. I mean, you work. You want to give as much effort as you can to every single one of them. Yeah. Right. So Something else good. that I know is you. Did I hear you're a prom queen? Prom princess, yeah. Oh, nice. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, so, so excited. What was it like to get that? Were you su surprised by it? or? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> it, was, it was fun, though. Okay, yeah. good, yeah. good. How I'm about, happy Riverside had a prom yeah. last night. I it think was it fun. was good. Right. Yeah. 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 Good for that. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the, last year there was no prom. So. Yeah. Well, how, how was the prom? Like, was it like... Outside or something? It was, was it like inside? It was at the Radisson. Okay. Yeah. Mask on, mask yeah. off. Yeah, we had our mask on. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. That's so exciting. All right. So I wish you the best of luck Thank with um, districts and then Thank hopefully you. states. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. You've been doing really good all season, and then I'm really excited for the tennis season. I yeah. know that. Yeah. You guys are. Is Carissa a senior? She's in my grade. Oh, she's okay. So yeah. yeah, you guys still have. I'm happy you guys are like. Yeah. Gonna be able to play next mm -hmm. year. So. Yeah. That's Good really luck. exciting. We wish yeah. you the best. Good luck. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Home gold. All right, so we are with Rachel Collins from Honesdale High School, and she's a sophomore. So you play three different sports, so I'm sure that's like, they're not all in the same season, but I'm sure it's difficult to balance that out. So you do um, cross country, basketball, track and field. Yeah. What would you say is like your best sport? What do you think is like your strongest? I think my strongest sport is definitely track and field. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of success this year, so I'm grateful for that. Yeah, yeah. that's absolutely awesome. And this is going to be your first year of districts, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. it's very exciting. Um, so you had your 100 meter dash and you got 12.5 yeah. was your time. And then your 200 dash, 27.7. And your 400 was a minute and four seconds. Yeah. Okay. So that's just like awesome. You have some really good times there. Thank you. And again, like I was telling everybody, this is like technically your first year, you know yeah. what I mean? So um, do you think that like you're going to like continue all three sports or do you think you're just going to like stick to one that you're more committed to? Um, I think that doing three sports, it's a great cross train. Yeah. So I'd like to continue my three sports, but I just want to see how, you know, things go and just make a decision that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, one main sport that I want to concentrate on is track. I know you do other sports, but right now you're here because <laughs> we love you on the track. Yeah. So, I mean, Jordan Relays, I want to talk about that a little bit. 
So I just got done talking to Abby about it, and I, I was talking about like how, you know, you guys got to actually run up against each other, but she, you got the baton way ahead of her. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. So um, what was what what was that like? Were like were you like hoping that you guys would get it at the same time? Yes, like, I was. She's an awesome runner, so that would have been cool to be able to race her. She's definitely doing really good this year. Vincent. Right. Unfortunately, you won't get to run against her at oh, all. No. <laughs> Unfortunately. I was really hoping that. So she she's uh. So you're ranked in the top five yeah. in the 100, and I believe you're top two or three in the 200. What, what's the thought process like going in there, knowing that you're, you're, you know, you're a top dog? Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good feeling, but I'm just going to go in, you know, not take anything too lightly and just try my best, of course. Right. Yeah. Right. What, what, what would it mean to you to win it? That would be a really big accomplishment, I feel like. Definitely something that would be awesome. A good experience. So. Right. Yeah. Is it something like you've dreamed about? or? Yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> For a while, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. So um, when you were, so you're still like a sophomore. So do you, um, like, did you prepare like at all last year? Were you like ready to do track and field? Or did you just like decide this year like I wanted to track and field with other yeah. sports. I was ready last year to do track and field so it was uh -huh. really hard not having a season. Yeah. It was definitely devastating but um, we came back stronger. The team did great this yeah. year so. Yeah you guys yeah. have I feel like you have a really strong team and obviously like you benefit so much. You, you're having an amazing season and it's right. Sad and she's time. got the cheat code too. Yeah. She's got the yep. cheat code. Her mom's the coach. Oh, oh. <laughs> but, well, that's third. That's another benefit. I'm yeah. sure she like helps you so much, she like does, her parents yeah. stuff. So, all the coaches are that's, awesome. So. Yeah, that's really exciting. And I don't know. I think. And, and so, so let's say let, let's say uh, you know the 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 winner of districts automatically advances the states. Correct. And maybe two or three other in the same race may advance the states. Mm -hmm. What would it mean to get the states? That would be awesome. That's my main goal right now, just looking at states. Um, but I'm just going to try my best, obviously, and make that time. I know states time is a 12.5. I've hit that before, but only once. So we're just right. going to see. <laughs> yeah. right. What about um, in the classroom? How are, how are you as a student? Like, what's your GPA? Right now, I think uh, my GPA is around a 3.6. Ish. Okay. So yeah, really good. Yeah. Okay. I, I always try hard in school. Obviously, right. academics are really important. Right. Do you? So I mean, I'm I'm thinking that you're planning on going to college. Am I correct? Yeah, I do plan on going. So to college. if there was any college you can go to, where would it be? Honestly, I have no clue. I'm I haven't even been thinking about college <laughs> to be honest. I know I want to go, but I have no clue where at this point. <laughs> right. How about how about as far as what would you want to study? Um. Well, I've been thinking about exercise science or nutrition somewhere along that line. I just found that fascinating, but I don't know. There's so many options. It's hard to choose. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, even though you're not, like, thinking about college right now, I mean, I think it's good that you're still preparing. You have really good grades, and, like, mm -hmm. you're doing all these sports. So, I mean, obviously that is going to, like, open the, these colleges' eyes. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's really good that you're, like, still working really hard at all three. So, mm -hmm. uh, how was your uh, basketball season? Good, yeah. I mean, it was hard. We lost, like, half of it. Mm. But for what we had, we were able to get a lot of games in. So yeah. it was lots of fun. Yeah, so that's really awesome. Mm -hmm. I think that's... It's good when you have like more than one sport, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I feel like when you have more than one, you want to do, you want to give 110% at each one. Of so course, I think it's, yeah. it's difficult, but I think you do a really good job like balancing each out. And that's Thank so you. exciting for districts this year. Yeah. Like, oh my mm -hmm. God, they're coming up so soon. And <laughs> I know, it's so I'm really close. looking forward. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's going to be like the highlight of my year. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I'm really yeah. excited. There's a lot of good people this year, so. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody has been working really hard, and oh, yeah. you know, it's just Definitely. it's an exciting time. Right. So. Well, you know what to do, Nick. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank so you much so for much coming. for having oh, me. Oh my God, of course. Right. Thank, thank you. you and very much. Yeah. Thank you. Best of luck at districts, thank hopefully you. states, and yeah. the rest of your other sports. So thank it's really you so exciting. much. Right. Of course. So, yeah. um, you go to Lakeland yes. High School, and you are, what grade are you in? 11th. 11th, okay. Yes. So you're a junior, and this is like a really exciting year for you. You had a really, really good year. So you had, um, your, you were the 4 by 400 relay champ? Yes. Or was it the four? Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, we got first, yeah. and then 4 by 4 Yeah, the mm -hmm. Jordan. Mm -hmm. So that's 
super exciting. Um, so you're going to districts? Yes. Right. Yes, you are. So that's she's, so exciting. She's a uh, she's an awesome 800 runner. Yeah. 220. <laughs> Oh wow! 220. Don't don't Absolutely say that. Awesome. The girls might quit the race before it even happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, got, I, got, I got to ask you one question yeah. before we even get into anything. So I'm up in Lakeland. 570 Sports is up there for the first time for track and yeah. field, and you you know you're getting you're you're getting ready to run your race. Mm -hmm. What did, were you set out like? You know what? 570 Sports is here. I got to go get this record. Or was was that like a thing or was it like... I did not know you were coming. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't even know what 570 Sports was. Okay. I really didn't. And yeah, and then all the girls were like, oh, 570 Sports is here. <laughs> I was like, awesome. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that, right? <laughs> so yeah, it's been pretty cool. <laughs> right. Oh. Well, I mean, I was happy that you did it when we were when I was actually yeah. there. I mean, I actually didn't know what was going on until everybody was like, Oh, go, 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 <laughs> And I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, she must be going for a record or something. Yeah, yeah. And it was, it was amazing. It was, it was great to be there and actually mm -hmm. see it happen. What, what was the thought process like while you're running that race? Well, usually when I'm running my races, I'm actually thinking about um, my favorite verse this season has been, therefore let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run the race marked out for us with perseverance, um, keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus. So honestly, that's what I'm thinking about when I'm running, just finishing with perseverance and running as hard as I can, even if I black out at the end, like, because I ended up blacking out in that 220 time. Right. Um, so that's what I'm thinking about, and yeah. Right, you were laid on the ground, and I'm just like trying to get a picture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I took a picture like, of her laying on the ground. Oh, I was like, oh man, I, couldn't, I can't get up. <laughs> It was, it was a great day. Yeah. That was a great day. Yeah, so that's awesome. And um, you broke the, the school record by the three seconds in the 800, so that's super exciting. What an awesome accomplishment. Yeah. So how are you feeling about districts? I'm sure you're nervous, but like... I'm really excited. Um, a little nervous. I know um, there's some girls that run like 223 and 224, uh -huh. but I'm just excited to go and run. And yeah. Yeah. Right, so you got, so you got, you you run a 220, you're nearly three seconds ahead yeah. of the competition. That's like a lot for an 800. Yeah, but I mean, there is something about seeing a girl in front of you and catching her, and so being the first one can be tough. I right. haven't had much competition this year, so I right. haven't really raced against very well competition, so I kind of just have to push myself and... Yeah. Right. You know, you, you know the thing about the the eight hundred. I, I always want to ask somebody, and I'm glad I got a chance to ask you. Mm -hmm. A great four hundred runner. Do do people kind of like try to seem to try to like box you out so you don't get so you don't get up, you know, in and front that, of them? Yeah. Um. This year, I haven't had a problem with that because it's just Jordan Relays was the only invitational. But um, watching girls definitely like when you get boxed in that definitely ruins your time like you really in the beginning it's all about getting out there as fast as you can like i'm just going as fast as i can in the beginning and try to get to be the first one out there and then you don't have a problem with getting boxed in mm -hmm. right. So. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah so i don't know i think that um there's obviously like you said like you there's not gonna be there wasn't like a t ton of competition this year but i mean there's you when you have your districts i mean mm -hmm. i think there's gonna be so many other like Good girls, but but, yeah. but I mean you've been doing really good all season, so you have like a really good shot at winning, and like mm -hmm. right. so I think that's very exciting. Yeah. But Bring home a steak, girl. You need to go like two sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah. Two. I couldn't have done any of this without my coaches, though, and my parents and my family. I've had so much support. It's been amazing. Yeah. But, that's. Yeah. Right. So outside outside of uh, let's say outside of Lakeland. Mm -hmm. Is there like a facility you go to to train? Is there like a trainer that you train with? Like, how do you do that? Just with my mom. Yeah, <laughs> um, we have, I love running with my mom. We run all off season. Um, I played basketball before. I have been before track, so that's kind of my conditioning. Um, but I love running with my mom. It's like my favorite thing. So, yeah. What, what, uh, so we talk about your mom. What was yeah. your mom? Was she like a track runner, basketball player? What, like what yeah. was she? She did run track and cross country and she played basketball. So she did a lot of sports. She also did soccer. But she was a great runner. Um, I think she has some records at Mountain View High School um, for cross country or track. Okay. She honestly doesn't remember. Can she, can, is, <laughs> yeah. her time, is her time faster than yours? <laughs> 
She doesn't know. <laughs> oh, she knows. She just doesn't want to admit it. Yeah, she mainly ran um, longer distances, like the two mile, um, maybe the mile a little bit too. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure um, that like she ha probably has like a ton of like advice and stuff for you, like mm -hmm. when you're running with the with that. So I think that's really awesome that you have some like, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of support. I mean, I think that is what like like helps a lot. I mean, I, I think it probably motivates you too. Mm -hmm. Like you know, you have like all your family and all your friends, and they're probably so excited for you to go to district. So, yeah. Like, right. I mean, I'm excited for you. Thank how, you. Yeah. How how great is it that Jordan relays is back? That you were able to run in Jordan Relays yeah. and then they brought Oh, I'm came so back. thankful we were able to run in that. I didn't think we were going to have invitationals this year, so when I heard that, I mean, I didn't figure out we had Jordan Relays till like the Monday before, and I was like, okay, let's go. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, I was so glad to hear that. Um, it was definitely fun to, I love all the relays, like all the team stuff. Like, our team has a great time with that, so it was fun. We right. connected a lot during that. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, some people weren't there. I was there, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, Jason was there. Yeah. But I mean, some people weren't there. Could you tell? Could you tell the people how the energy was just to be there uh, at Jordan Relays? It was just so fun. Like, just yeah. And we had even with COVID, we still had like a great crowd, and like I had a lot of support and family that was able to come. So that was just awesome. And just having people cheer you on while you're running and like hearing the cheering and all that is just so fun and yeah all the different teams there like it's great having that competition rather than just running right. against one team mm -hmm. so. that was like that was like the the only time in track and field what i actually witnessed like people cared if they won let me let me get that clear but yeah. people didn't care if they lost they yeah. were just there to have a good time oh, yeah. like people were the, mm -hmm. so many smiles laughs mm -hmm. giggles like the energy yeah. was great uh-huh i love the track environment like Honestly, it's so different than basketball in the way, like, it just feels so, like, girls are just so nice to each other. It's so fun. Like, I can talk to girls before races, and it's just so fun and welcoming. And, yeah, everybody's just there for a great time. All right. Yeah. What is that Lakeland 4x800 team looking like? Um, yeah, we've been able to improve throughout the season. We're doing good. Um, we have a lot of fun together running the race. But, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to, do good at districts. If they keep it close, you'll bring it home, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll try. <laughs> if they keep, are you going to run the 4x4 four four as well? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Oh, you're going to have a lot of energy to burn. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, hey, go ahead, Nick. Well, that was, I don't know, I think it's so exciting. And I think, again, like, you have so many accomplishments. So, um, I don't know, I think you're going to do great at districts. And that's, like, super exciting. Just, like, such a fun experience for that, so. Good luck with that. Thank you. Bring home okay. that gold. Yeah, bring, it. <laughs> bring home that gold. Thank Good you. Luck. Thanks so much. Thanks. Wish you the best, all right? Thank you. All right, everybody. Well, I'm Nikki Gilchrist, and I just want to say thank you so much to 570 Sports for giving me this opportunity to be a host on the show. So thank you again to all of the participants for coming in for an interview. I had lots of fun, and I wish every single one of you the best of luck at districts along with as of your other sports. So thank you again, and I um, hope to continue this. So thank you. Bye.